my experience, also a major stressful event in the productive life of a beef animal, which is uh, those that are arriving in the feed yard. Uh, if you think about the US beef industry and the many other industries across the planet, then you have the situation where uh, calves are arriving in commercial feed yards and uh, the, the feed yard has no history of what, where those calves came from. Uh, they were probably transported for 12, 16, sometimes 24 hours uh, on a truck. Uh, as soon as they arrive in the feed yard, you know, some of them were weaned the, the day before, so you have the stress of weaning, you have the transportation, you have that stress of the auction yard as well. And then arriving in the feed yard, you have this new environment that the animal uh, is completely unaware of. New diets commingling with cattle from different sources. So it's a mixture of stressors have a very detrimental effect on immune system and also productivity of those uh, animals within the first two months in the feed yard. That's why we see so much bovine respiratory disease in those that we call high-risk cattle. The excess of stress, the accumulation of stressors really bring down the, the animal's immune competence and then gives a chance for those respiratory pathogens to cause the disease and it's normal for high-risk receiving cattle to experience about 50 or 60 percent uh, you know incidence of BRD so there was the second low-hanging fruit uh, apply the analog uh, in cattle arriving feed yards high stress receiving cattle that's what we did uh, two or three projects with the analog of the bovine appeasing pheromone being applied at arrival again high-risk cattle we didn't know the source they were transported for 12, 16, 20 hours, arriving in the feed yard, first processing. As soon as they arrived, we applied the analog. And uh, on those studies, what we saw was, again, uh, about 20% increase in average daily gain. And that increase in average daily gain was caused by a increase in feed efficiency, which is a result from the less stress or physiological stress that those animals experienced uh, up, uh, after feedlot arrival. We also saw some benefits to the immune system. Animals required less BRD treatments uh, in terms of a recovery from BRD. So they were more immunocompetent and responsive to, to the BRD treatment. In some cases, we saw increases in feed intake as well because less stress means more appetite, which translates into more average daily gain. The next step that we took was, all right, if you apply the analog at feedlot arrival, uh, we're still missing that window of stress prior to arrival, which is the whole transportation period, okay? So if the animal's in the truck for 12 hours, 18 hours, 24 hours, that's a highly stressful situation. And if you apply the analog after arrival, you're missing those 24 hours of stress. So we ran another study where we applied the analog at loading, okay, before transportation to the feed yard, loading at the, the ranch of origin. And if you apply before the stress of transport, your gain in terms of average daily gain jumps from 20% to 30%. So if you apply right before the animal is exposed to that stressful management, okay, then you have an additional gain in terms of the response in production from those animals receiving the analog. It's important to say that uh, uh, the studies that we did show that the analog works for about 15 days. When you apply to the animal, it's probably uh, working for about 15 days, stays in the animal's uh, skin for about 15 days. So for in, animal, in any stressful situations that those animals encounter within 15 days after application, the analog still works. So it has a 15 day uh, working period. Now in animals that you know are gonna be exposed to another stressful situation, then you have to reapply after 15 days so you cover uh, that animal throughout that entire stress period. So if you're selling your cattle, let the buyer know that you're using this technology because the buyer is gonna be the one that's gonna receive all the benefits. Now, if you're buying cattle, I would incentive you to communicate with the, with the seller to apply uh, the analog uh, prior to transportation because that's gonna be a good investment from the buyer side. So communication is essential, which is something that we unfortunately don't have a lot in our industry. And for the adoption of technologies and for return on investment, communication is essential.